Kassan, what about um, some of the more recent advances that we've seen in terms of systemic therapies, this whole idea of immunotherapy? You yeah. hear this all over the place, Nobel Prize winners, Nobel like for immunotherapy. What is immunotherapy? How is it used for liver cancer? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, immunotherapy is really probably the major change that we have seen happening in liver cancer. Uh, and not to undermine what happened to our therapy, because to be fair, not everybody might be amenable to immunotherapy and will explain why. But bottom line, immunotherapy, in our body, a cancer cell kind of like, almost like make a deal with our immune system, say, you know what? Don't bug us, we will not bug you. And if anything, we are trying to train by the immunotherapy, our immune system saying, guys, look out, this cancer is bad. It's not us try to fight it. And this is exactly what happens. So immunotherapy has been evolving quite a bit. We started first by the single agent therapies. And this is what you hear, and I'm sure you all heard the word, for example, PD-1, PDL one These are like, almost think about them as like some protective mechanism, like almost like a chair. You make the immune cells sit on it so they don't touch the floor of the cancer cell. And simply by kissing, kicking that chair out or taking out of that NTPD1, NTPDL1, you'll get the cancer cell attacked by the immune cells. However, we found out that for this to happen, you need some command to order it to do so, almost like a call from the boss. And among those, you have combinations of therapy. And that's why I know we're talking about more about doublets rather than single agent, among which you probably hear about quite a bit about, for example, atezolizumab, prospefizumab, or you talk about Dervilumab, Prostemlumab. There's many other options that really are combination therapies because they are trying to really not only make the immune cells active against the cancer, but induce it to do so. And these are definitely have shown incredible improved in outcome and understandably better outcome for the patients. Please remember, as I mentioned, some patients might have immune diseases like an inflammation because of the immune system these patients would not probably be amenable for immunotherapy. Not all the time, but sometimes they will not be amenable for immunotherapy. No despair there. We still have the biologic therapy as we just spoke about. They really have quite a bit of benefit as well. Yeah, so Kassan, so it seems like immunotherapy really is um, an exciting advance here. Um, if, I, if I'm hearing you right, then you know, single agent immunotherapy doesn't seem like it's um, sufficient. Um, in many cases of liver cancer, we typically need these doublets where you're using two different mechanisms of action. But these are really exciting therapies that we have, well-tolerated therapies that you can see responses in a notable proportion of patients. And we see the longest survival we've seen in the advanced stage setting. But also, notably to what you said, if you're not amenable to immunotherapy, which can happen in some cases, um, you know, we still have effective therapies with the targeted therapies um, for those patients as well. So um, so lots of good options. And once again, this is why you want to be seen in a high volume center that knows these um, you know, um, new agents, because it seems like um, there's lots of new agents coming to market. 